why do front end developer worry about networking do i really need to know the rest concept if yes then what are those concepts that are needed rest graphql grpc have heard about these things but not sure if these are important for front end developer are these concepts important for front end developer by any chance for the interview perspective if you have similar questions in mind this video is for you watch this video till the end me and akshay basically have shared our experiences working at microsoft uber flipkart paytm and many other startup companies building our own startup basically so before you move on please don't forget to like subscribe and share it with your friend for upcoming knowledge heavy sessions so i have chirag with me right and we both will be talking about our experience working into the industry and how this whole networking concepts have helped us in our career in our jobs in our it industry and we will also be giving a perspective over how this can be useful for your interviews okay so without wasting any time let us just start so chirag let us discuss first of all that what is actually networking and like how it is important right why do we need to study actually this networking great so i think uh, akshay along with you i am very much excited because this is something that we wanted to always teach and do the justice to the audience basically not just talking about the fundamental but something crazy so as you talked about talking about networking so we have to understand most of the people perspective is i wanted to become a front end developer or back end developer or a full stack developer important is you become anything but you cannot be in isolation you have to think about one important thing that one system have to connect with the other system in order to build a complete system around any application either it is web application front end talking to the back end and many other interesting thing how system communicate is there any protocol is there any guideline how do we connect right or randomly people can say oh give me some data i will give you data in any format will that work especially when we talk about industry when we talk about large scale application when we talk about multiple engineers working is there any guideline is there any standards that people follow to become flexible and keep on growing and building something crazy now as we talk about importance i think like starting from your web development where you say okay i have some static thing now i have to make something dynamic the moment that you say that i have wanted to have dynamic your networking start even as soon as you think about connecting between any other system your networking start understanding that is important now interaction with the back end as we said is important building anything on the back end it's not just about the front end developer to be very clear people have myth oh networking why i should learn because this is something to do with the network engineer or a back end engineer probably not you have to understand if you have to think from a product or from a right web application that you have to develop you have to understand networking and many things that we are going to cover i think akshay you will uh, let's let's talk about something about the road map what we are going to learn in this particular uh, series maybe maybe you are you are very right chirag right uh, so networking is basically like uh, when the front end has to i i really like that point that when front end has to do something dynamic right it needs data to get data it needs to connect to a database and fetch data from there i know that is a job of a back end developer to build those apis or something but then networking plays a great role that how when the data is coming from a server to client right or a web browser how what happens in between is all about networking am i right chirag if yeah, i have to put it in this definitely definitely exactly and this is what people we are going to talk about how that data reach from that server to our client what are the protocols required what are the different various ways we can do that uh, and uh, what are the different uh, what will say uh, different strategies that senior engineers use to build this whole system see system has everything front end back end everything right so how does that system work in together so i think uh, you can go ahead and talk about road map that what would be the first video that would be coming up chirag with i think people have to start thinking broader not as i said front okay. end back end how everything works from starting from when you type google.com what happens yes. there are people i understand people whenever you talk about one thing that comes to your mind oh it will go to dns because that is how basically we have understood but it's not just about the dns there are many hops in between like many thing that happen when the network the request leave to your system and it finally gives you something so understanding that in depth because we are going to cover in this series also something like how do you can optimize each and every point to make your application much faster because 
today in today zara everything is about speed everything is about right set of experience that you wanted to provide right so that is something will be discussed in that first the second thing is understanding protocols right as we talked about okay. there are http https web socket http 1 2 3 tcp udp like ftp so many things jargon people have heard okay so you are going to talk about protocols in uh, some videos right yeah definitely okay amazing so uh -huh. there are And many other interesting thing akshay why do you talk, talk about what are, what are the other things that we wanted to cover in this videos so maybe we sh we will be also be covering chirag if i am not wrong we would be covering a lot of protocols such as what is rest apis right rest apis is such an amazing thing right i mean every time the front end wants to get some data most of the applications i would say use rest apis but then there are more advanced concepts also uh, which we should know something like graphql i think a lot of users over here would know about uh, graphql or might have heard of it right so graphql became very popular in uh, recent times right uh, and also grpc i think that is a kind of a what will say grpc is quite underrated i feel what what do you say chirag yeah definitely nowadays i i heard uh, people talking about senior people talking about about the eras right Uh, uh -huh, like what yeah. are the new adoption that has happened basically in 2023 or going forward one of them that was mentioned along with you can say the next js and what not on the front end side in the network protocol was grpc people are understanding okay. write it once and give a capability from different programming language to directly execute and do something so i'm not going to reveal exactly what is going to happen it's just that we have lot of interesting stuff coming around <laughs> okay that is that is a nice sneak peek so basically if if i have to uh, summarize right overall so we will be talking about like the communication protocols right the basics of how web works i would say right and then we will be talking about uh, what are the different strategies that we can follow uh, in that communication layer now let us talk about chirag maybe your experience with microsoft right uh, and the startups you have worked prior to that right so how this whole thing has helped and what do you actually use in microsoft right what does microsoft Perspect like what is the perspective of uh, front end engineers or senior engineers in Microsoft over these technologies? And then I'll share mine, right? Yeah, yeah, actually that's a great point. So if I talk about from my experience, what I have used in past, so I will say I have used REST, GraphQL, and GRPC. Now the thing is, if all of these are there and you have used them, boss, how does that matter, right? So there are multiple things. I will tell you an interesting story. People sometimes blindly say, go use. like graphql graphql give you lot of consolidation and basically make you n one cross n or n plus one problem so many interesting thing right so in microsoft the current project which i was working recently was to deprecate the graphql and move to the rest like now that is crazy right people may be thinking what is going around so there are things where we have worked on rest at a such a scale where you can directly connect to the database using the rest endpoint and you can do any damn thing that you wanted to do on the client example you wanted to have batching you wanted to have relationships basically between different entities so you don't have need uh, maybe a oscillator uh, like middle layer basically which is required for that you can do that now graphql plays its own importance where we have built not in microsoft but again in different teams we are using graphql at uh, microsoft at flipkart we used graphql at a next next level which means we used graphql not just to build one system but he used a federation basically to stitch different graphs of the system and into make the bigger ecosystem grpc is one of my favorite and something which i am passionate about i have used it uh, in past in flipkart and what not but again i wanted to again see people exploring in the right direction in the great dimension because it has so much potential is just that people often use it on the back end side but nowadays i people who are not aware even next is going to experiment something with the actions using grpc on the client side which is going to be very crazy stuff so i think that is something amazing chirag right amazing amazing thing you have shared right i mean uh, uh, that this was something new right i haven't ever used grpc on client side or never even thought about it most of the times it's mostly used in backend so if i tell you about my journey so i have worked in startups and then i have worked in like a bigger indian startups like paytm and then in uber right so what i have seen is so generally these startups right when they start building a project and they are into building a project from scratch they generally do not focus much upon building these like right, using graphql and then 
using grpc it is because you know first first reason for that is right we don't get engineers who are well read of all these co- concepts right uh, they themselves don't know a lot of things so it's kind of like it's an initial learning curve if you if you really want to use it so generally most of the startups which i see use uh, rest apis right so if you are watching and you are preparing for the startups and small companies rest is the major thing right they would be using and they would be asking questions on but then let me tell you that uh, a little bigger companies they start even paytm was not using graphql or grpc there right uh, n- none of them they were solely relied on uh, rest apis uh, at least what i have seen whatever uh, sir microservices i have seen over there but in uber i got a chance to explore all of them right in uber we heavily used graphql in front end right but then let me tell you that sometimes graphql is an overkill sometimes graphql is an overkill uh, but the scale of project that we had right uh, and considering the amount of data those apis used to give us graphql was a must and if i would explain it in two lines graphql is something which sits between two systems right it's kind of like a middleman it takes all the data from the uh, sender i would say and then massages that data and kind of sends it in a very crisp format to your receiver right so basically it sits in the middle and controls and basically it is just keeping an eye on what data is being transmitted from both the places so that's what graphql is it has its own query language so it is much more uh, we'll say bug bug free i would say if you write it in a proper way then there are less chances that you will encounter into bugs but it's but the learning curve is a little huge and it comes with a lot of what you'll say uh, different packages and uh, that you have to put in your project uh, so it has its own pros and cons we'll discuss that in videos right later on when we uh, expand and talk about graphql even more uh but then i think this is what it is what i have seen in uber uh other thing is using grpc we heavily use grpc for building uh like it was kind of used in backend a lot in uber uh, it's way faster it's it's much faster that is the main reason companies use it but again as you said right um so basically grpc works on http2 and uh right it it's really good but then again comes with a cost right so uh, we will see all of this in upcoming videos even in much more detail um uh, i hope i'm not missing anything chirag you you and brought one interesting yep. point you you just mentioned yeah, something yeah. called http2 i just wanted to highlight yes. people have started uh-huh. leveraging the right you can say http1 http2 http3 if you go and start looking into the network call you will realize uh-huh. like people are going to the next level where youtube yes. is going to http3 they are almost people are when trying to adopt to http2 so many crazy yes. stuff basically is going on and Coming if you up, yep. don't leverage it right then you may be able to develop things but you will uh-huh. be chuck in terms of optimizing getting to the right performance uh-huh. getting uh-huh. to the reliability and many other things and one more last thing i want to talk about this is that see there is uh, nothing like best right i can't say that this is best this is not good this is good right it's it's totally dependent on what kind of system you are developing never say that graphql is not good or graphql is good you always have to accompany it with a reason right graphql is good over here because because this this this, this right you whenever you are giving interview never just go ahead and say graphql is not good or graphql is amazing in generic don't make such generic statements when i take interviews right let's let's not talk a little bit about interviews right chirag so so i i'll tell you my example i generally talk to people right a, a lot of senior folks when i take their interviews so i ask them okay what is your perspective over graphql right how graphql has helped you or do you know much about graphql so they are like graphql is amazing it's like uh, you you don't it's it it take care of overfetching you don't overfetch data this that right all that uh, questions but then you know uh, if you ask me honestly like using graphql in a small project is an overkill right so not everything is uh, is which is good is good in every project right it's not a standard here so this you have to understand and whenever you uh, i'm just talking from an interviewer's perspective that whenever you are giving an answers give it with a uh what will say backed up answer like give a backup answer that when i say backed up backed up with reasons validations that okay if you are saying this uh, graphql will be good in the system how why right you should have good reasons for it so uh this is what uh, i would like to say uh and chirag like uh, 
what kind of questions do you ask around networking in your interviews if you if you ask any right yeah 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 definitely there are many so before I, even i start talking about interview questions which are definitely uh-huh, very uh-huh. interesting point the one you said like one solution is not going to fit which people say that yes. there is no silver bullet there is no single solution for all of the things true which i pursue is like in a counter strike when you can someone kill someone with knife why do you need a sniper in order to kill that right exactly so, <laughs> nice example man so that is how basically so interview questions i feel so i will talk about two perspective one what i have faced probably and what i i used to ask so it depends on sure. basically uh, like where at what level you are so if say suppose you are starting your career to me what matters is how do you understand network do you just see how things work in the front end only you don't understand the back end at all that is understanding that perspective is very important for me so i first try to understand what kind of understanding you have of how internet basically works do you even understand in order to talk with each other you need some ip address there are something that goes in the network is just that i made a fetch call i don't know where it goes what happens i don't know only i know is a catch if there is a success i will get in then and if there is a failure that is catch if you can think beyond that that is important now coming to if you are early stage understanding the difference between your get put post patch kind of thing where you leverage those thing most of the people don't understand when i should use get and post because ideally you can use post for everything right you don't need exactly. any damn thing just one single post you leverage which behind the scene graphql does something if people is interested to get into but there are other things also there are many headers which most of the developers don't understand or value i will say so understanding like do you really understand the content type that you pass do you understand what do you have in cookie and why we have those cookie what are the different the parameters that you can set along with the cookies that you are setting right people often try some one other interesting question is related to the course i think that you have covered in one of the problem that you are solving i think in your <laughs> series but again it has major angles to that it's not about getting the course resolved and my application is working i get the data in the api right it's it shouldn't be the ultimate goal like how do you pursue that problem and what's the vision basically that you see or how much deeper you understand those particular thing the reason behind why they exist is something i think very very important for me when i especially go for a junior level kind amazing. of amazing so stage. so amazing so basically you have given a lot of questions also like uh, as if i if i have to summarize so chirag said that okay you can get questions about communication protocols and then maybe you can you could be asked by interviewers about what is difference between get put post you should basically understand that uh, what are basically the actual meaning of everything that you pass in a request right uh, maybe what are types of headers what is a content type and why do we need it right why is there a different get put and post right a, this is a very favorite question of a lot of interviewers that what is different between put and post right people don't know uh, great uh, so few things uh, for senior level so for senior uh-huh. level well people started sometimes people as you said without understanding the problem statement you are ready with the answer so that's a problem with yes. most of the senior people when they know what are the <laughs> important question which are asked in the industry so one thing which is uh-huh. when you are senior and when a basic question is asked please be good be a good listener because even in the same put and post there may be some condition which may be yes. asked like i don't have all the data on the client now i have just the partial data which a user is modifying now tell me which post or put is going to be preferred right i have lot of data to be filter like you have uh, like facebook filter query that you have where i can pass thousands of uh, you can say brand which i wanted to search someone will be looking for oh i need uh, just the data from the server it is more than enough but you forget about other things like the size of the request that can go it may contains i wanted to filter data based on the email ids now you are talking about security True. right many things pitch in the picture and especially when you go to the talking about as you said don't go with a blindly like graphql is best and shooting all the reels prop, reels pointers that you have seen oh in reels generally you get four pointers why use graphql that doesn't work you have to understand what's a problem statement what kind of system you are going to handle and then chip in understanding the pros and cons of options that you have in in hand and give the real world examples from your past in order to level i think i have i have also talked about cracking some strategies and technique yes, also yes. exactly the interview strategy you are absolutely right on that point that okay you 
have to decide uh, right you have to tell the interviewer that okay you are using this for this right and uh, basically the flow of the uh, interview should be by listening to what exactly the interviewer is asking small minor tweaks in a question can change the whole answer isn't it right so definitely so so be be careful while you are giving interviews mostly with senior people right uh, and you know see as a senior person see uh, talking about uh, what a junior developer is expected and uh, what a senior developer is expected from uh, networking point of view right so if you are a senior developer you should have a strong opinion about uh, what you would be using for a particular system right suppose if a interviewer is asking you uh, then you should have a opinion with backed up answers as a junior developer you can just say okay i am aware of these 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 things and maybe uh, right and then i feel that this can be a good thing you can basically discuss a lot of things right so uh, this is what is expected i think right so basically you know uh, one more thing which i want to say from my personal experience is if you are a senior engineer then in system design interviews you know you are expected to take stand right you are expected to take a stand i have seen you know a lot of senior engineers when i interview them if you start grilling them on something right like why graphql right they will be like graphql is best so i should use graphql this 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 right and then they will give you 10 reasons why graphql is the best when i say okay no but graphql is bad at this point this point i just grill them in two three points and then they're like okay let's not use graphql so if you are taking if you are backing up a decision then take a stand put all valid pointers right and then discuss the other alternatives also but take a stand right taking a stand for a senior engineer is important because ultimately when you will get hired you will have to take decisions right if if i as a engineer will feel that okay this guy is not able to take decisions then probably it's a red flag for me right so basically i want somebody who can take ownership and decision i wanted to add one small point on that so i have taken uh-huh, lot uh-huh. of interviews like starting yes. from fresher till date if i Same. have to count more than 1000 interviews i have taken at least bare minimum in my career right so one <laughs> thing which i have seen because there are a lot of content which is available on internet where you get to know at least the summary of stuff now people start uh-huh. something is you become smart and something is become over smart people start bluffing to a very senior person on the other side that i know this uh-huh. and i know this very well you should know system design has no limit in terms of you cannot actually master everything that is important understanding that having a understanding and you may not have executed in your real project conveying that in the right fashion in interview to the interviewer that i have this understanding and something which i wanted to go deeper and actually explore in the right fashion whenever i get opportunities important instead of just keep on bluffing 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 and you ended up into a state where you screw up whatever you said don't uh, yeah it's a very big red flag so uh, and yes a lot of your folks ask me also that akshay uh, i have not worked on it but i have enough knowledge will I, should i should i talk about it and you know i, I would say that okay see in an interview it is okay to say that i have not wo- got an opportunity to work on this but i am aware of uh, this technology as this this, this this these are valid pointers right you can discuss with an interviewer take it as a discussion right and um, it's okay if you have not worked on a lot of things because that's a very common thing in interviews not everybody gets a chance to work in newer technologies maybe grpc or graphql or whatever so uh, have an opinion right uh, but but be honest right faking is never a good good thing right there yep so one thing acha just as people are watching and people are uh-huh. watching from a fresher to a very experienced person and if we talk about yes. what we have we are going to cover in the upcoming videos it's starting from very fundamental yes. to getting into the coding uh-huh. building things from the scratch and going to certain level yes. so even we talk about any of the things which may be rest or it may be graphql or the grpc everything is going to be uh-huh. kind of hands on in system design which is very rarely like people talk about that but showcasing is something different now how much people can expect in early stage as a senior person or like at different stages because having a expectation that you can get everything 100% may not be true for people who are fresher right what's your true. opinion so uh, basically see uh, right if i have to if i have to tell you that okay uh, if you are a junior developer right if you are just starting up right you are an sd1 i would say right then you are expected to know basics of things right you might not have worked on a lot of things uh, right uh, but you should at least 
know those terms right first of all see the issue is front end system design is huge right it's it's vast right and nobody knows what is there right it's not a definitive set of it uh, even we in this whole series of namaste system design front end we are trying to bring our own perspective over it whatever we have learned over years and trying to gather all this content right uh, so if if it's it's a personal choice right uh, it's a personal opinion of mine that if you are a junior engineer you should at least know these terms know the basics of it uh, and if somebody will uh, is asking you about uh, these keywords you should be aware of these keywords and what basically it is you might not have worked on things or you might not have uh, known it fully but that's completely fine but as a senior engineer you should know things in depth right one level deep not just what is what is graphql and uh, right just the pros and cons of it but a little more right what are the projects which are a good place where you should not use it and which you should give it right and you should be able to give examples wherever you are giving interview give examples right examples taking examples of scenarios will just strengthen your uh, right uh, point right when you are uh, giving interview right? so uh, yes. what about senior engineers like do they yes. expect the coding that we are doing basically or something so like yes basically yes so basically if you are a senior engineer then you could be asked to code yes why not right what, what do you think chirag yeah definitely i i wanted to add one more perspective to what you said to the uh, uh -huh. uh, like uh -huh. early uh -huh. stage people who are starting their career how we learn uh -huh. in industry very important thing that we have to understand in most of the time in industry we do not learn uh -huh. things from internet or the from course we learn at the work like many people exactly. feel like I I wanted to switch the career because I don't get the right set of mentor where, from where I can learn. So it's not like the the job which a tech lead will be doing. You are going to do the same job. No, it's just that you get to learn so many things how certain things are done, the different jargons basically that that are used, right? So that they, that shapes your future and career. And eventually, when you grow get, get to that point, you know at least what need to be done in terms of the justice. I remember one of the story uh, when I was in Flipkart. I used to roam along with my, uh, you can say, tech lead at a Flipkart level, which were high, like rare. So we we call it architect. So there were two, three architect at Flipkart level at the front end side. We used to go and just stand uh, when they have a discussion and whatnot, just to understand what are those jargons, what are these people are doing, what probably True. can come in the future. It's not that I'm going to chip in into and do everything that day itself, right? It's just that awareness is something which you makes you shape your career for the future, which I firmly believe. What do you think? Exactly, you are you are absolutely right. And you know when you are when you are learning about these concepts in coming videos, right? When you will go and dive deep into these topics, you might find some theoretical concepts, right? A lot of theory basically. But then trust me, keep taking down notes when you are going ahead and. Those keywords, as Chirag mentioned, is really very important, right? And you know, uh, with whole this series of front-end system design, you can get to those keywords which Chirag used to go and find it in the discussion with his uh, seniors, right? So basically, uh, you should not miss that. And definitely keep a notebook and pen wherever you are doing and note down every new keyword that you find. Note down, right? We have tried to go in-depth, right? We have tried to go in depth and taught, teach you every small concept in there, but there still could be things which you might not know, right? Which are a little basics. So please keep taking down notes. Whatever you do not do not find, right? The answer to pause the video, go ahead, search on Google, come back again, but make your understanding very strong, right? And trust me, system design, be it front end, back end. Today we are talking about front end system design. Will take time to get into your head and get into your heart and soul right and give it time learn patiently this is all i want to say right uh, yeah. one important thing akshay so uh -huh. there's so many things people wanted to go from the fresher also right so is there yes. any prerequisite on order to get started people learning the front end system design because so, many people say the front end system design <laughs> you have like 10 year experience then you learn front end system design what's your thought okay yes so uh, first thing is right uh, see that's the day you start working on a front end job, you are involved into that front end system, right? So, uh, right. So if you ask me that front end system design is only for senior engineers, like for folks who have gray hairs, no, no dude, right? I mean, uh, it's, it basically starts from the day you start your front end journey or back end journey or whatever. You should know exactly what whole system 
how that whole system is built you can start you know, but it will take years to get that experience and dive deep into it right but if you are starting today right if you are a sd1 then it's a very good thing to keep learning on the side slowly 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 so that when you gradually move towards the or journey towards senior engineer you are very well versed with these concepts right uh, see if you are a senior engineer and you don't know how uh, network request works right what is request response and how the headers work what is tokens right jwt token what is that and all that stuff that it's it looks a little bad on you right i mean you will have imposter syndrome later on i would say right so basically it's good to keep learning slowly slowly uh, it's not just for uh, senior folks even junior folks should know it right uh, if not in much detail but they should at least know in general what is happening in web yep. so one thing wanted to share with everyone who is watching uh -huh. me and akshay basically have brought our experience basically all the experience energy basically into this particular series where True. it's not just getting things done but getting the things done in the right fashion from all the perspective so i yes. feel personally this is something which is which is going to be loved by people who are starting their career and people who wanted to become architect probably in their career exactly. this is something which is very very powerful so what's your ending thought basically aksha before people get started rolling into the yeah. videos and kick start so basically uh, see everyone right i first of all wish you the best uh, it's super great that you are over here and have taken a decision to come over here and learn from us we have put in a lot of efforts to collect all the information that we have from the internet from our past experiences that is why i have got chirag and we both have together came up to bring knowledge right from both type of industry see we have working experience in startups we have experience in big companies right so basically we we come from a point where we have seen a lot of projects right and revolving into uh, web applications and uh, we have seen customer facing apps right so we exactly know uh, what all things are expected when it comes from interview point of view also so that brings a unique perspective towards our uh, what will say our course right and i would uh, want you to just focus stay awake and please keep taking down notes and please uh, you know watch everything for full right i mean whenever you watch something watch it patiently and it might take a little longer right this series can be big this series can get you to a point where you become uncomfortable and you your head is like blown away by facts that okay oh my god this is not making any sense to me watch the video once again it's not something which you cannot watch again right watch it again and again right uh, it can contain heavy stuff and you know it is and when we have built this series we have also kept in mind that you can be a fresher also right so basically everything starts from very basic very uh, from the scratch no prerequisites required and we take it to advance right so this is what the whole thing is if i have to talk about the ending thoughts right this is what i want to say that we both have come up and uh, brought our experience over here so many things lined up so all the best for your learning journey we have recently launched the namaste front end system design course which covers the every aspect of system design from the fundamental to the advanced the lld and hld this video was just a introductory video if you are interested please go and check out the course description in the description link given below so don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friend and see you in the upcoming awesome videos